Hello everyone, this is Alexander Nikov from trendrecognition.com. The topic of today's presentation, of today's video, is how to define the trend using a simple set of two moving averages. Most of the people uh, go against the trend on the market and that's why they constantly lose money. That's why I consider that it's the first important step in achieving success on the market is to define the trend properly. And uh, surprisingly, you can do that uh, by using a set of two moving averages. So it's really simple to define correctly the market trend. Uh, so that's why I decided to make this video uh, and I hope this will help, um, to help to you define the trend uh, properly the next time you approach the market. If you followed our site for some time, you know that there are five trend definitions uh, on our website. Um, first, the trend can be uptrend, downtrend, or the market, of course, can move sideways. But depending on the strength of the move up or down, we can also distinguish between uh, weak and strong uptrend and weak and strong downtrend. Uh, when when the, the trend is actually strong downtrend or strong uptrend, we simply say uh, it's uh, uh, we simply call it downtrend or uptrend. Do, don't use the the, uh, the word strong. So that's in that way we have a total of five different trend definitions: uh, uptrend or strong uptrend, weak uptrend, sideways market, then downtrend and weak downtrend. So how one can define uh, which type of trend the market is in. Well, to define a trend, uh, you can look at, uh, and that's what we I do, um, so you can look at price pattern, which is uh, usually the most important indicator, some technical indicators, some key chart and Fibonacci levels, and also the wave structure. But most of the time, actually 90% of the time, it is possible to define the trend correctly using only a set of two moving averages and I use the 21 period and the 100 period moving averages and I'll show you exactly how I do that. If you have an uptrend, prices are staying above the 100 period moving average which itself is trending higher and if you have a downtrend, prices are usually below the their 100 period moving average which itself this 100 period moving average is trending down and to define the strength of the trend weak or strong then you look at the 21 period moving average and where the price is compared to it for example if the price is below the 100 day moving average but uh, is above the 21 period moving average then that means that the general trend is down, but it's not a strong one, but a weak one. And finally, the sideways market is um, in place when the prices are trading both above and below their 100 period moving average, which itself is trending sideways, mostly flat. Let's, uh, sh let's me let me show you some examples uh, which will um, uh, show you exactly how how I approach um, the markets. This is the chart of uh, euro dollar, euro dollar, the weekly chart. And what's the trend here? Well, the trend on the weekly chart is sideways. Why? Because the prices are moving uh, just below or above um, their 100 week moving average. This is the blue line. This the blue line is the 100 bar uh, moving average, while the red line is the 21 bar moving average. Uh, also, you can see that the 100 week moving average is actually moving uh, sideways uh, since uh, mid 2008. So that defines the trend on the weekly chart of euro dollar, euro dollar as sideways. Let's go to daily chart. On the daily chart, you see the prices are firmly below their declining 100-day moving average, but now are moving around um, the 21-day moving average, which itself is trending now sideways, which defines the trend on the daily chart 
uh, here as weak downtrend. It used to be strong downtrend uh, two, three weeks ago, but now the trend uh, has weakened and uh, it is considered weak downtrend. When you have weak downtrend, the most appropriate strategy is to, to be patient, to wait for oversold condi overbought conditions sorry, to develop and then to try to enter from the short side. Uh, let's go to hourly chart. Here the trend is sideways because you see that 100 hour moving average is trending sideways and the prices are just crossing uh, below and above this moving average. Let's go to the, to the chart of S&P 500. This is the daily chart. Here the trend is sideways. You see the uh, blue line, 100 day moving average is trending uh, mostly sideways and um, the prices are moving below or and above this this blue line so the trend is sideways if you go to uh, hourly chart then you see uh, that the trend is uh, currently on the downside why because prices are below the 100 day moving average which is uh, trending lower a bit and also below the 21 hour moving average which is also trending uh, down so the trend is down and if one is one believes that uh, a bottom will be made soon then he or she should wait for our sold conditions to develop such are already in place but also he or she should wait to see uh, some weakening of this uh, down move that means the price should uh, start to penetrate the 21 hour moving average and if this 21 hour moving average itself should start to trend mostly sideways or turn up and then one can consider a long position here. So this is my approach, how I use uh, the uh, a simple set of two moving averages, 21 bar and 100 bar moving averages to, uh, to um, define the market trend and I can assure you that helps me a lot and uh, if you try this approach it can, it can bring uh, value to, to your approach uh, as well. I hope this helps and uh, thank you very much for your attention and I'll be talking to you later.